Hi, Dave Taylor here, and I have a problem with my MacBook Pro. Now, hold on, it's a great computer. It has the Retina screen, it has as much memory as I could put in it, it has as much hard drive, well, solid state drive as I could get when I bought it, but that's only 256 meg, and that's not a lot of space when you do video work. So, I've been stuck. So, trying to figure it out, I finally realized that Otherworld Computing now has solid state drive upgrades that work with the MacBook Pro. So I contacted them and got the Envoy Pro. This is, initially, it's a USB 3 system, but it's actually a 480 gigabyte drive. And it's expensive, it's 579 bucks. So it's not something that you can just go and get on a whim, but on the other hand, when you need more space, boy, it's really worth it. So the thing is, it's kind of tricky to get this to work. The first step, as I'll show you real in this sort of speeded up video, the first step is to take the little solid state drive, open up the little drive holder that comes with this package, put the solid state drive, it looks like a circuit board, put that in, zip the whole thing closed, and then I used carbon copy cloner, and you can just use the 30 day trial to make a perfect copy of everything that's on my existing drive. Oh, you're back, good. So, what I did was I then made a copy of every single file, every application, every preference, every setting, all my system preferences, everything copied onto this little drive, right? In here, as you now know, is the new circuit board. Now, the way to test this before you disassemble your computer, because of course you don't want to do that just to find it didn't work, is you can actually boot your computer off of the external drive. One nice thing about Mavericks, which is what I'm running. So you do that by when you're booting up, hold down the option key. Gives you lots of choices. Choose the newly named new external drive. Worked for me, my computer's up, it's running, which now means I'm ready to shut it down disassemble the computer, disassemble the drive carrier unit, swap them, and then reassemble everything. And hopefully what will happen is my computer will now have the larger drive as its main drive, and then the external drive will be what is now my existing drive. Follow all that? So, it's going to involve a lot of screwing and unscrewing, and luckily, Part of the package they send includes these Torx screwdrivers. They're kind of tricky. Um, so if you'll excuse me, I got a little bit of disassembly to do. As you can imagine, the first step is to take the back plate off. To do this, we need one of these handy Torx screwdrivers. So the Torx is a, it's a different sort of head. It's designed actually so people won't do what we're doing. <laughs> but as you take your screws out, very carefully put them aside. You don't want to lose any of them in this process. So that's two. And I'll speed up this video so you don't have to actually be bored watching this. Okay, now we're done. Let's see if the back comes off. Hopefully it does without too much hassle. There we go. Let's take this apart nice and quick. So this one's easy. It's only two screws. Oops. And we're using the wrong screwdriver. Let's try again. One. Two. So we want to find something that looks like that. And that is right here. So what we need to do is we need to slide it out and there's a single screw holding it in. Let me zoom in for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you can see right here, that's what we want to replace with the new unit. So what we need to do is take our existing screwdriver and there's the single screw. No, oh, that doesn't work. Let's try this one. There we go. So we take that screw out and the drive pops out. That's pretty handy. We'll put that aside. And there's only one way these things can fit because of the way the slots work. So now we'll put the new one in. Gentle little pressure. And we'll take that screw we just took out 
and put it back in. That's all we got to do now. We just need to reassemble the computer. So I'm not going to bother to show you that part. That's pretty easy actually. Put the cover on it, put all the screws back in. All right, so I reassembled everything and I plugged the drive in as an external just to see. And as you can see, the old drive shows up and it has just like 38 gigabytes of space available. Really not very much, but here's what's cool. Is it actually booted? Now I admit, I had a little bit of anxiety when I pushed the button and I'm like, well, hope this works. And it did. And it boots up. And now, as you can see, I have a ton of free space. So really nice performance and everything. It's going to be the same. It's a solid state drive. So with really probably realistically 15 or 20 minutes worth of work and a little bit of detail work, it's, it's pretty tricky stuff working with these tiny screws. So there you have it, the OWC Envoy Pro, 480 gigabytes, about 579 bucks. Is it worth the upgrade to double my disk space? Oh yeah, it's absolutely worth it. And I am looking forward to a new lease on life with my MacBook Pro. So check it out, check out Other World Computing, see what they have for you. They also have a lot of RAM too. So if you're looking at upgrading the RAM on your computer, your MacBook, Maybe one of you have, maybe you have one of those cool Mac Pros. In any case, whatever you got, they got a lot of options. So check it out. This is Dave Taylor saying, see you in my next video.